Hello everyone, welcome back to another Brickstore quick tip. In this specific video, we're gonna talk about filtering your BSX file in terms of searching through it. So you can actually dig through this file and look at certain things. And in this case, it's not usually the most useful for smaller files. So for example, I have 140 lots in this file. So maybe it's not very useful, but if we were to download our entire inventory into Brickstore, then it becomes very nice and you can really dig through and look at what you want uh, within your file specifically based on certain criteria. So what we can do is we can actually open a filter menu. So if you're on a Mac, you can do Command F, or if you're on Windows, you can do Control F, or in the top right, there's this little filter button. So if you click that, it'll open up this expression line where we can now tell it what we're searching for. So on the left side, there's this drop down. Right now it says any, but if we click this drop down, you can see that there's a lot of different options. And all of these options correlate with the columns within your BSX file, excluding any. That means it'll search through every single column. So maybe we only wanna look through the sale column and we only wanna see things that are on sale. So in this case, we click sale for that. I'm gonna leave it on any for now. And if we uh, you go to the second column, this has contains by default, but you can go to is, is not, if something could be less than, maybe you wanna type in a number here, like certain prices, you wanna have a pricing understanding of your inventory. Uh, ends with certain things, starts with certain things, doesn't start with certain things. We'll leave it on contains and we'll just type in dark into this field. And now it's gonna show us everything that has the word dark within any of the columns in our file. So you can see most of that's gonna be in the color. We have a lot of colors here. They're dark tan, dark purple, dark red, dark gray, dark bluish gray, etc. cetera. Um, very, very nice that we can do that. So let's say for example, we just wanted to see what colors within our inventory were black. So if we click color here, you can see it says contains. We're gonna change it to is. And then you can either type in the color or because we're selected on color on the right side here, there's a little blue drop down. You can actually scroll through and find a specific color you're searching for. In this case, we're gonna go with black and then it's gonna return us all the results that are black. And now we can see that we have, you know, uh, however many lots in black and however many pieces. Another thing we can do, let's say for example, you wanted to see the black and the dark bluish gray pieces within your store because you know that those sell very often. We can actually uh, change this field or, or add an additional field to this. So we're not just searching for black, we can search for black and blue or dark bluish gray. So color is black or, so on this side we have an and and an or statement. We wanna click or, not and, because if we search for color is black and dark bluish gray, Nothing's going to come up because there's no such thing as a, a piece that is dark and, or black and dark bluish gray, unless it is one of the dual molded pieces, in which case that would be the only piece that shows up. So color is black or, and if we click the or, it'll add a second line, or the color is dark bluish gray. And now it'll return both black and dark bluish gray pieces. So very useful there. Now let's say, for example, you wanted to use an and statement. So we're gonna get rid of this color is black. We're gonna say that the remark is, or contains A and, the, or, or uh, D, and the remark contains one, because we wanna see everything that starts with a one. Where is remark? There it is and the remark contains the number one. So now it'll filter out only to the things that have remarks that contain one. Um, so, or we could actually even have it starts with D and then it contains a one. And now we can see, you know, from 100 to like 1000 or something, for example, like that. Um, so there's a lot of different options here and you can continuously click and and ors and add more statements really to filter down your entire inventory. Um, but with all these drop downs, you don't need a ton, but it's really, really nice to dig through your inventory a little bit and have a better understanding of what is actually there. So hopefully this was useful. Again, it's not gonna be the most useful on small files, but on larger files, it should be great to dig through your inventory, get a good understanding of what you actually have. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next Brick Store Quick Tip.